What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a bait review of Saltwater Assassin. You guys have definitely probably heard of Saltwater Assassin. They're a pretty big company. Uh, they make a lot of different kind of baits. I've used them and I've caught a good amount of fish on them, so I think they're really great. They've got a couple of different body styles and they sent me a few here to try out for this video and for other fishing videos in the future. Um, the main one you've probably heard of is the Sea Shad. This is like a four inch uh, swim bait. I also have these that are like, I don't know what you call it, like a twitch bait, I guess. Uh, it's like a half sun kill, I guess you, is one way you could put it. They have these die dappers, which is a five inch uh, paddle tail. And uh, this kind of looks like if you've ever used Salt Strong, the Slam Shady Bombers. Uh, that's pretty much quite a bit what these look like. They have these little boss, which are three and a half inch swim baits. They have the ribs on them instead of the, like just a plain smooth body. And then we have this Artemis Shad, which pretty much looks identical to the Kelly Wiggler's Wiggalos. And uh, these are also five inches. So first of all, thank you so much to Saltwater Assassin for sending me these baits to try out in this video. So the first bait I'm gonna put in the water to test are the uh, Sea Shads. These are the four inch ones, the smooth bodies. And I've actually used these in the water and you can see them. These tails are crazy. So now y'all get to see what it looks like. I'm gonna, have, <clears throat> I'm gonna have my GoPro in the water and I'm gonna show you how they look. For this video, I'm just using a quarter ounce jig head. So you can see that tail moving quite a bit. And the way it moves, it like twists around. The, the whole shaft of the tail twists around and so that tail's able to get a lot of action. So it looks really nice. Fast, slow, whatever you do, that tail's gonna move a ton. So these things absolutely look amazing. I love the way that tail moves. It's pretty much different from any other company that I've ever seen. The tail moves a lot and it moves kind of like this. Uh, like here's the head of it and it kind of moves like this instead of just kind of doing that um so in it fast slow whatever you do it's going to move a lot and when you're like dropping it if you let it sink the tail moves a ton i think these things look really good all right the next one i'm going to test out is the three and a half inch ones these are the little boss uh so you'll see these have these are ribbed um instead of being smooth so let's see what that does uh as far as action so as you can see, that tail twists around and it makes the body move around a lot. And it shakes the body. I'm assuming that's because the water kind of catches on the tail because it's really flat and it kind of moves it around. And I think it looks really great. And maybe that has to do with the ribs too. I'm not exactly sure. But I love just the way that it almost looks like cartoony how the tail moves. It, it moves a lot. It's really looks really good. And especially whenever you can see it now, whenever there's flashes on the tail because of the the glitter and the sun shining down onto it looks really great. I kind of had to change the way I'm set up here because of that sun uh, it's making my phone power off. But these things move quite a bit. They move in a different way than any of the others. The tail, um, it's not exactly longer than anything else, but the way it moves is different. It moves a lot more like that instead of just the tail moving, which is really cool. And it wiggles quite a bit also. And something that I really like is the this color is called silver ghost um so if you i definitely recommend getting some of these because uh that tail flashes a ton whenever you move it and so i think that looks really good and it might attract some attention Alrighty, the next one i'm going to try here is the little p and v sw so this is like that twitch bait sort of thing um they also say they're scented they smell like like dead shad if you can imagine that or just you know regular shad they don't have to be dead it just smells like shad so these that's what these look like this uh this is an electric chicken color uh, what I would do, um, just for the test, I'm going to use the quarter ounce uh, jig head. But what I would do if I was actually fishing with this right now, I would either weightless rig it with like, like Texas rig, but weightless. Or I would put it on a Ned head or maybe like a wobble head or something like that. And I think it would look really good. But I'm going to test this one out now. I kind of wish I had chose a darker color to do this test with because it's a little hard to see sometimes. Uh, they, did gave, they did give me like a brown sort of color or something like that. But as you can see, it has a nice gliding action. I've never really used anything like this, so I don't really know how to, you know, rate it or anything like that. But whenever I'm doing this, you can see that tail kind of bobs up and down. And it just, it looks good. I'm not sure what the fish think it is, if it's like a worm or something in the water, but it looks good. So I think these things look pretty good. Uh, I tried a couple different uh, techniques with it. I kind of did like a slow reel and then kind of twitching it every now and then. 
Uh, and then another thing I did was just bouncing it off the bottom. And I think both of those looked really good. Um, I've never really used anything like this before, so I'm definitely excited to go fish with it sometime and you know try it out and see if I can catch any fish with it. But now let's move on to the next bait. Alrighty, the next one I'm gonna try is the Die Dapper. This is a five inch one. I've never used these before. Uh, it kind of looks like, if you can imagine the, uh, those ones from that, goodness, that wind just kicked up quite a bit. If you can imagine the, the Bass Pro brand, what's it called, like, uh, Offshore Angler or something like that, that's kind of how the body looks. Um, it's got kind of a little head sort of indented there. I'm not sure how well y'all can see that. Yeah, you can kind of see it. And then it's got the eye. This one's also got a cavity on it. So let's try them out. So as you can see, if you kind of pause it, at one of the points when the tail's moving, you can see that it twists around the body. And the tail moves a lot. It kind of just rotates counterclockwise and clockwise. Um, and the body, whenever I moved it fast, the body would kind of spin to the side or move side to side and stuff like that. So it looks really cool. Okay, you can see it twisting around a lot, especially with that white belly. On the drop, it doesn't move too much. It kind of floats behind it almost but that's okay so i think these things look pretty good uh they're bigger so they're slower that tail doesn't move quite as much as the uh what's it called the the sea shad uh this is a five inch one they're also you know bigger and what i noticed was if you pull it in a little faster it kind of moves like like the body will move side to side kind of so that's kind of cool one pretty big problem with this thing that i had though is that whenever I was casting it one time, this tail came off. So I don't know what the deal with that is. If the, however they put it together just isn't very strong or what the deal with that is. But that's not a great thing. So saltwater assassin, I don't know about that. Hopefully it's just for this one. Uh, maybe, you know, all the other ones aren't like that, hopefully. I don't know. But I can't use this one anymore, obviously. All right, the next one and the final one we have is the Artemis Shad. So this is another 5-inch one. And like I said earlier, this thing definitely looks a lot like the Kelly Wiggler's Wiggalo, uh, except with, it's a lot thicker. Uh, it's pretty heavy. Um, this is uh, this also has that tail that's been molded on. So let's see if this one does the same thing that the Die Dapper did. Let's see if it breaks apart. I'm hoping it doesn't, uh, but let's see how this looks in the water. I know I keep comparing this thing with the Kelly Wiggler's Wiggalo, but this, it looks almost identical. Just the Wiggalo has a longer tail. So this tail action, it moves really good and kind of the same as the die dapper. Um, but also the body rotates um, and it'll swing to the sides. And so that's why I say it looks a lot like the Kelly Wigglers. Um, and it looks really good. And it's very heavy too, so it sinks pretty fast and all that. So I think this thing looks pretty much almost exactly like the Kelly Wigglers Wiggalo, except that the Wiggalo has a much longer tail. And this thing, just like the Wiggalo, moves it kind of rotates whenever you swim it and it's it's got good tail action on it this one doesn't feel like it's going to come apart as easy that that weld i guess you could call it looks a lot better Alrighty, that's going to do it for this video uh comment down below what you think of these baits i'm going to put a link to their website in the comments in the future i'm going to be fishing with these things and testing them out so don't forget to look out for those videos but in the meantime don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video like and subscribe